this podcast is a lot of fun. I I hope people are enjoying it as much <laughs> as much as we are. I also nachos. like calling it podcast mafia. This just sounds fun. Yeah, <laughs> and let's get our next uh, our next assignment from the Almighty. Oh, I don't Box like off. being the killer, dude. It stresses me out. I I legitimately like get nervous. <laughs> it's so dumb. I don't know why, but I do. That's how I uh, felt playing. Um, among us all the time. I'm like, I would get like stress pangs. Uh, Hunger yeah. pangs? Stress pangs? Uh, yeah. Stress yeah, pangs? that works. Is that a thing? Isn't it just stress pains? Uh, no, like pain, a hunger pain. pang. Yeah, hunger pains. Mm, it's no. a pain. Have you ever been it's so hungry pang. that like your stomach hurts? It's a pain. No, it's a, no, no, it's a pain. It's, all right. It's hunger it's pangs. Enough hunger of pangs also, so, also sometimes called hunger pains. So next okay. right. Enough. So, or a feeling Probably. of discomfort in your stomach. Yeah. What moment in a video game, movie, TV show, or book guarantees that you will cry? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's so easy. many good ones. Easy, easy, easy. For Mari, it's just a commercial with a dog in it. Oh my God, I have and cried in so many commercials. Oh, the Subaru commercial with the with the roller derby. Oh my God, <gasps> instant cry. <laughs> uh, so you said this was easy for yeah. You said it was easy. So why don't you take it away? Return of the King. Easy. I cry so late. Oh. I'm crying the entire three hour movie, For pretty you much. Why? No man. Oh my god, you bad and no one while while yeah. the Return of the King oh, score is playing. Yeah, I mean there's so many, so many moments. Sam wise. Um and then and then they're stuck on Mount Doom and and, and then and then the Eagles come. I cry there. Uh when oh, all Oh God, Frodo! Uh, oh, oh, the four Frodo moment with Aragorn like going, and then Merry and Pippin are the first ones to run out into the crowd. Uh, I cry the whole yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. Oh, and then like the, the like the, on that one. the general friendship between men in all three of the films is like it's so beautifully displayed. Um, it's like the best thing I've seen in films. Like never thought like, I died next to an elf. Oh, uh, they cry so much, oh, and then they embrace friend. and they kiss each other's foreheads. I just love it so much. I know it's like it's all about um, Tolkien, like putting into like a fantasy realm of like what it's like to be like brothers in arms because he went through World War One and all that stuff. But it's just I don't know. It's so beautiful, and then. Hey, Laser corn, let's destroy toxic masculinity in a video. I'm gonna kiss you on the forehead. I love it. Nope. I'm gonna right. call you my brother and kiss you on the forehead. No, nope. don't like it. I love toxic <laughs> masculinity. Hot <laughs> take, I think masculinity needs to be more toxic. <laughs> oh my god, Andrew Tate, welcome to the podcast. Hey, thank you. That's my problem with masculinity, it's just not toxic enough. Bring the toxicity back, yeah, man. Bring the toxicity back to masculinity. Uh <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, we've been talking a lot about The Last of Us, but like the w my brain got stuck on video game, and it's the only video game that's ever made me cry. Uh, the giraffe scene in The Last of Us just always gets me. It's like this, like Ellie, after what she's had to do, just seems so empty and like hollow and sad inside. She's like lost all of her innocence, and then like seeing her be happy again, it like remind like kind of like seeing the life go back into the character i don't know I, that just mm -hmm. always gets me mm -hmm. it's just like seeing her reawaken as a not so much of a shell of a person it's like yeah i've always found that to be beautiful she feel like it, that moment was almost rushed in the tv show which i know that it's pretty quick in the game as well but it's you can like spend as much time as you want in the game technically i mean they walk away eventually but mm -hmm. I think in The Last of Us, the moment that destroys me the most is literally Sam and Han Henry. The mm -hmm. way that chapter ends, oh, yeah. I get fucking... I had to walk away for like yeah, a good while that, playing yeah, it. That, that destroyed me I, more than any other moment. You know what's weird is that didn't get me as much in the game, but the show, the show I cried. It was freaking brutal, yeah. Yeah. It, it was something about the fact that he was deaf made it like worse. Wait, he was yeah. deaf? Who was deaf? Oh, the show. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry. I thought you meant the um, uh, the gay couple in episode three. No, no, no. Mm, no. The baby, like them adding um, Ellie's mom and mm, and the, mm -hmm. the the birth of her. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that that wrecked Kate and I uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, mm -hmm. Last of Us had some some good for sure, like cry moments. Mm -hmm. uh, my answer though, I I thought only affected me because of the time I played it, and that was uh, the Telltale Walking Dead game, when, spoiler alert, when the main character dies at the end, uh, I had like spent like four hours, it was like two o'clock in the morning, I was trying to finish the game, so I just thought I was exhausted and emotionally like just like burnt out, 
Enzo brought some tears to my eye. It was just like this very touching moment. Uh, he's, he had done as much as he could to protect this girl, uh, but then had to send her out. And then I remember playing it again a couple of years later and just like, like destroyed me still. I was like, Fuck. all right, nope, it wasn't that I was tired. It's really <laughs> very good. This is a very good game. <laughs> very good. <Yeah. laughs> good soup. Uh, very good soup. So I, I really feel like we've done this topic before. I mentioned that before because I feel like I've talked about this before, but maybe it was in He's like, like, I don't cry. No, I know. No, maybe frozen. No, no, I was gonna no, say frozen. Not frozen. Do you guys remember me talking about the movie The Patriot? And how I didn't think it was a good movie. I, I feel like we've had this conversation. Oh, I, I vaguely remember yeah, that. I, but but this, yeah, the Patriot been, with Mel Gibson. Yeah, but this might have been a okay. Patreon question movie. I don't. First of all, I don't think it's a, a good. Well, not that I think it's a bad movie. I don't think it's a great movie. But it has like the saddest scene that really messed me up was uh, the little girl's not talking to her dad, mm, mm-hmm. uh, and then the dad goes to leave for, for war, and she starts talking, and she's like, I'll say whatever you want. I'll talk. I'll say whatever you want. Just don't go. And that, oh, yeah. I remember that. And that, like, messed me up, and I'm like, oh, I have emotions now. It's not even a good movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I saw that, and I saw that when it first came out, and now as a father, it's, like, a w- even worse thinking about it. Um, And I don't know why it's that one. Like, I don't care about Mel Gibson at all, or really <laughs> any, most of the movies. He, oh, no, I did. That's not I did like Braveheart. I just, uh, I don't know. That one scene really messes me up. And I, uh, yeah, I don't like it. I, I There's try to a avoid lot of that like, <laughs> um, uh, like relationships with like kids in that movie, right? Because it, doesn't he do the whole like, um, you, like he has a line about like aiming, right? Mm-hmm. He's like one yeah. bullet. Small, miss small. Oh, yeah, yeah aim when small, he's miss small. And kids, yeah. Teaching the kid, yeah. I remember there's a lot of like yeah. really emotional moments in and that then, movie. Yeah, the main bad guy kills his his uh, son. Yeah, like when he's yeah. The main yeah. bad guy, King George. Uh, yeah, he is the main <laughs> no. bad guy, but the main bad guy in the movie. Yeah, so it just uh, you know, I know it was a it was a thing. You know what other movies are super like sad, like father son or like uh, parent parent mm-hmm. uh, kids. Yeah, she's been uh, the movies I will never watch again. No, the Will Will Smith one, something oh, happiness. Oh, Pursuit of uh, happiness. Pursuit, yes. happiness. Pursuit of happiness. Yeah, oh, Dude, that, that movie, Yeah, where, that where they don't have any place to say stay. Oh yeah, that that is very rough. He's like putting down. Doesn't he? Doesn't oh. he like put down uh, like paper towels yeah, on the ground in the bathroom? Oh my in the god! Subway yeah, man. Yeah, that, that one's messed up too. I am Sam. That one's another one that'll mess you up. Oh, I remember that one. Sam Gamgee. Mm-hmm. Sam Gamgee. I am uh, Sam Jay. I, I do need to throw in so uh, like a bonus one here because it's not sad tears, but happy tears on your left. Every f***ing time. If I just watch the oh, yeah. scene on YouTube, it'll get to me. And definitely if I watch all of Marvel, uh, Avengers Endgame, by the time it's like on your left. And like you know the the it's a it's a very again. good scene. I don't think that yeah. I yeah. Would cry during it, but um, it's a happy yeah. tear. It's a happy tear. All right, Og Song is telling us that we're out of time, and let's wake up from our trance and be transported. I don't even know what the lore is here, but be transported back into the realm of <laughs> Og Song, where we must vote one of our one of these players to die. Well, right. First, we need to know who's yes, dead. Yes, yes. This time, first we will hear the thing, and then we we have notes. Peering over your, your half-used Kleenex from dabbing away your tears. Happy tears or sad Te- tears. Tears. Uh, you notice that Mari has been killed. Damn it. Uh, it's because I didn't uh, say John Q, huh? John Q is also another movie that's so good. Oh, my God. John Denzel Washington. John Q with Denzel Washington <laughs> and his Man. son needs a transplant. <sighs> Right. Mari was my number one choice. This one's a rough yeah. one. Um, uh, Lazygorn spoke really quickly, so I don't think it was him. But I think he was also trying to just keep us under time. It's not me. I'm not the killer. Still not the killer. Uh, <laughs> not I'm going to go insane. with uh, my vote is... So, Mickey, what, what movie made you cry? Oh, it was Last of Us. No, it was the giraffe scene in The Last of Us. So, ah, fuck. Okay. I don't, I have, man, I, I don't know. I have taken notes again, and I actually get to use them this time because I'm not dead. So, but I can't read my own handwriting. So, Joven. Ah! So, for Joven, I have, for obvious reasons, is that a Joven Mm. line? Or is that something Paco would write for him? For obvious reasons stuck out to me. It's funny because Paco used to write so many scripts. And then, uh, for Sohinki, all I had was seeing the life go back into the character. It seemed weird. 
Yeah, but it's so specific to like that game, right? That situation. Seeing the light. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you, you're right. You convinced me, Joe, and it's probably oh, no. you for obvious <laughs> reasons. No. It's not me. I'm not the killer. Uh, I'm not the killer because I wouldn't kill Mari. I'd kill Lasercorn so that he couldn't use his notes again. The so so here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for Joven because I've guessed Joven every time, and I just I have to be right eventually. Right? <laughs> no, that's not how this game I have works. have to be right eventually. The only Joven note I had was like so vanilla that I don't think this would be a thing was Still there's flavor. so many there's so many Still good flavor. ones. <laughs> the note that I had for laser corn for a potential phrase that slays was ow I have emotions now. <laughs> that's, a, that's a very specific laser that's corn line laser as well corn because thing. I often joke about how I don't have yeah. emotions. Yeah. But if 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 Paco starts to write for Ogsog, Laser Corn in his Ogsog, prompts. Yeah. If Ogsog but, starts to But has to he been doing that or have they been? I think they've no, mostly been doing that. Well, so far, I don't know. I feel sometimes, you know, he's got some nah. real winners in there. I don't want to metagame the game too hard. Um, I, think, I, I think it's so inky. I, I think it's so inky just because he, he went to something familiar so that he can work his answer I, into. What's, what's the phrase, though, for so inky? I, I don't you're know. right. Seeing seeing the life go back into the character would not be the phrase. Did he just work it in so flawlessly that we didn't pick it up? Because I don't. He, uh, did you hear him with the dead space one? It was flawless. I, I just don't trust him now. He's very good with the with the <laughs> phrase it slays. I still feel like eventually Joven will be the killer. <laughs> one day. I think. For all right. Here's reasons. why I think. Here's why I think it has to be Joven. I think it has to be Joven because he's accusing me. And Lasercorn, if he was the killer, would have have immediately been like, "All right, yeah, so hinky." Like he would have, he would have well, teamed up. He definitely up. did just that is, turn that back is, to you there. That is usually my strategy. I haven't turned uh, at all. I started with two. I started with two phrases that stood out to me, and you helped me get down to one. And I've been with you the entire time. But that is, uh, yeah, I I think it's Joven. I had I had to right. be right eventually. All right, I'm going with so hinky. Joven, uh, do we want to do rebuttals? Yeah. My rebuttal is it's still not me. <laughs> For obvious reasons, really, that's going to be the phrase that slays. Reasons. Actually, Paco, make sure that is never a phrase that slays. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be annoyed if how I have emotions now was the phrase. It's but so yeah, I don't good. know. <laughs> My only read on the situation is Joven said the exact same thing the previous one when he wasn't. And he said he what he said was like, I know it's not me. But he just didn't sound as convincing this mm. time around. Uh, okay, it's definitely right. so inky. I'm going to so inky. I will be right three times now. What? <laughs> I was, but I've only been the killer once. I know, but I've, I've, I've been right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, should we do the reveal or? Yeah, reveal. Yeah, my, my, my vote is my vote is also Joven because of uh, the same strategy as Laser Corn. Sure, <laughs> every time. Nice. It's gotta, be, it's gotta be right one time. I'll be right eventually. <laughs> The killer of this round was, in fact, Lasercorn. Ah, a master performance it. from me. And the phrase was, was the phrase. So as a father. Now, as a father, it's like a, even worse thinking about it. Um, uh, as a as a father. Father. So they are a little bit Man, in, individualized, but it wasn't yeah. how my, I have feelings now. Imagine, imagine it's me. I'm like, as a father. Yeah, right? yeah. Imagine it's me. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well done, producer Paco, or Ogsog Paco on that one. Hey, if you're watching this here on YouTube, guess what? There's my, many more rounds over on Patreon. You can check it out just like all these people or these people are checking it out. You know, they're not being uh, freeloading jerks, to hoarding their money to themselves. They're they're donating to Ogsog so that that thing. Ogsog spares the their the lives. Some freeloaders. Yeah, I love that. Freeloading yeah. jerks. Yeah, so, uh, you know, support us on Patreon or not, but, you know, it is your mortal soul that you could be sparing. So just consider that.